This power lets Mario stomp through enemies, and this one lets him sneak through tight spots. Today, Mario will earn new size abilities and take on custom challenges. If he can level up his skills and unlock new powers, he can face the final test. Mario feels weak and powerless. Maybe he isn't worthy of having special powers. To try and feel useful again, he looks for a way to prove himself. He makes it to the top of the level and notices a small pipe inside the nose of the dinosaur head. Mario tries to get inside the pipe, but is too large. He throws Cappy on the dinosaur horn out of frustration, but just then, a strange message appears. Ability unlocked. Press R and left on the D-pad to shrink. Collect two more moons for a new power. Mario puts it to the test right away by getting tiny and wedging his way into the nose. He climbs onto the pipe and drops down into the skull. When he pops out, he finds a cave inside the skull with poison and three huge spiny enemies. Mario needs to avoid the poison or he will die right away. The spinies can't be captured and they surround Mario as he tries to battle them. Mario keeps throwing Cappy at his foes, pushing them into the poison to defeat them. After he knocks the last one into the grape jelly, he can grab his first moon. If Mario can get one more moon, he will unlock another new ability. He hunts for the next moon and comes across a strange group of blocks near the waterfall. Mario approaches and tries to get into a small crevice, but he's too big. Walking, crouching, and swimming don't work, so using his new shrink power, he becomes tiny, jumps into the water, and easily moves into the cave to collect another delicious moon. Right when he swims out, a message appears on screen. Ability unlocked. Press R and right on the D-pad to grow. Mario experiments to learn that left makes him shrink, right makes him grow, and up returns to his normal size. Next, he finds a dirt mound in a circle on the top of a hill. Mario tries to change sizes to figure out what he can do here with no luck. Just when he's about to give up, he spots a giant seed on the ledge in the distance. He makes the trek up to that ledge and has to be normal size just to fit. Regular Mario grabs the seed, runs to the mysterious dirt mound, and throws it into the circle. The earth trembles as a huge beanstalk appears and starts growing up into the sky. Normal size Mario tries his best to grab the rising plant, but his arms are too small to get a good grip. Switching to huge form, large Mario grabs the sides and climbs to the top to move into a new zone in the sky. Huge Mario notices some speed flowers, but every time he tries to grab them, there's no effect. He must be too large for the speed properties to absorb in his stomach. Instead, he switches to normal size and takes off. As he runs, the opening between the platforms gets smaller and smaller. He has to jump more and more carefully until he suddenly realizes he needs to shrink down to make it. With a close call, Tiny Mario narrowly squeezes through the final obstacle to conquer this area. When Mario reappears in the Cascade Kingdom, he gets a message, boon unlocked for Tiny Mario, feather. As Mario explores to find a way to use this new boon, he notices a massive wall of metal. Mario wonders what could be hidden behind these unbreakable blocks, and even though he's gained some new powers, he can feel that he's nowhere near ready for the challenge yet. Mario presses on and finds spaced out platforms leading to a moon in the distance. As his huge version, Mario jumps across only to find that his heavy weight makes these platforms fall very quickly. Switching to his tiny form with his new feather buff, Mario is able to jump onto each platform and have it not move at all. He still needs to use skill to cross carefully from one safe spot to the next, but eventually makes it to that tasty moon. His improvement with the new powers give him another message. Boon unlocked for Giant Mario, power. Now whenever he's large, he has a muscle icon on display. Mario thinks he knows what this one can do and immediately finds a group of enemies. When in normal form, Mario gets damaged by these little land urchins, but Giant Mario can walk through them, crushing them like bugs. He explores to see what other secrets he can uncover. He finds boxes and runs into them as regular Mario, but they don't break. Then he morphs into giant Mario and can smash them with his tree trunk legs. Mario hunts for more blocks to smash and comes across this loaf configuration. Normal Mario is powerless to do anything to these, but the second he grows, he can stomp through them. He uncovers a hidden painting that was underneath and jumps through. Suddenly, he's underwater with no air source. In a panic, he swims upward, smashing through a cheap cheap and grabs an oxygenated moon. He makes haste back to the painting to get to safety. Boon unlocked for giant Mario, sturdy. Mario has a feeling that whatever's giving him these powers is trying to prepare him for the final test behind this wall. Mario discovers a stone bridge leading to a giant cloud island. The only problem is typhoons are guarding the bridge and creating forceful gusts of wind. Mario tries to run across in tiny and normal form and gets launched off the cliff. After a realization, Mario goes into huge mode, hoping he figured out what the sturdy buff does. Giant Mario walks through the wind and is completely unaffected. 
He steps onto the Cloud Island and tramples through hordes of bugs and urban sting bees using his powerful buff to collect their treasure. Boon upgrade for Tiny Mario, Feather Plus. The icon will now be updated with a plus sign next to the feather. Mario uncovers a sandy section of the level and investigates. There's a small hole at the bottom of the quicksand, and normal Mario tries to sink through it. Unfortunately, Mario dies as he tries to descend, so he has to come up with a new plan. Giant Mario gives it a shot. His sturdy buff actually keeps him above the quicksand, but as you might guess, he's way too large to make it through the hole. Mario shrinks down to tiny size. The Feather Plus boon helps him run effortlessly on top of the quicksand. Small Mario ground pounds through the opening to devour the moon underneath the sand. Boon unlocked for Tiny Mario, stick. The spiderweb icon will now appear when controlling Small Mario. Mario uncovers a small cap rack next to the top of the level. He understands immediately that he has to be tiny to complete this next challenge. Cappy activates two timed pillars with spike traps on the insides. Mario prepares to wall jump, but notices something strange. When he grabs the wall, instead of sliding down, Tiny Mario's hand glues to it. Using this to his advantage, he times his jumps carefully to avoid spike traps while they're active. If he takes damage once, he won't have enough time to finish the challenge and have to start over. Mario pushes himself to focus and makes it to the very top just as time is running out. He grabs his moon prize and recovers. New boon unlocked for Giant Mario, 3. Now whenever he's large, a 3 icon appears. Mario has no idea what this boon does. He tries whatever he can think of and looks around till he finds this oversized sign. Giant Mario destroys it whenever coming close, so he returns to normal size to read. The sign explains how to do a triple jump. It must be a clue. Mario runs and jumps three times and suddenly launches way up into the air. Huge Mario is able to do mega triple jumps, where the third jump gains him amazing height. With this newfound mega jump, he looks around for a target location far away. He notices the Sky Island and heads that direction. If he doesn't jump perfectly near the edge of the cliff, he won't travel far enough. With strength and determination, he finds his pathway and executes the perfect launch to land on the Sky Island. Collecting the moon brings up a message. Boon upgrade for Giant Mario, Power Plus. The icon will now be updated to a plus sign next to the muscle. One additional message says, You are ready. Prove yourself with the ultimate test. Mario knew right away where to go. Those ominous looking metal blocks had been calling to him from the beginning. Using huge mode, he runs into them. Power Plus makes it easy to shred through these blocks that used to be unbreakable. He finds a huge door behind the blocks and steps inside. Mario drops into an arena with the Ultra Dragon. The zone is filled with quicksand, spike traps, and metal blocks. Mario tries to fight the dragon, but all these hazards make it near impossible to dodge projectiles and attack in time. Instead, he looks around for alternate solutions. Mario comes across a small nook on the side of the arena. Normal Mario can't fit in, so he shrinks down and crawls inside. A P-Switch is waiting, and Mario normalizes size and presses it. Suddenly, the quicksand disappears and the battleground becomes just a bit easier. The dragon can't be damaged until all the traps are disabled, so Mario searches for another switch. On the other side, he finds another cranny to go in. Mario hits that switch, and now all the spike traps no longer pop out those spikes. For the final trick, Mario gets huge and shatters through all the metal blocks while avoiding projectiles. Even with all his powers, Mario is losing health fast. He's used up all the hidden hearts in the arena. He starts dealing damage to the dragon alternating between normal and large Mario. Whenever he needs to get away from the projectiles, he uses giant Mario's mega triple jumps for a quick escape. If he can't switch in time, tiny Mario can grab the side of a wall with a sticky boon to hang above the projectiles until it is safe. Mario goes in for the final attack. The dragon's about to recover when Giant Mario deals the final ground pound to pass the test and prove that he is truly worthy. But this boss was just the beginning. To see Mario face off against customized bosses, click on the video on screen right now. Huge thank you to JustCant8 for creating some of these mods. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.